Hi, Mrs. Crafts friends. It's Step by Step. It's a rainy, yucky day, and we cannot go outside and play. So I thought I'd share one of my books with you today. The story is called Chalk. It's a story by Bill Thompson, and it's one of my favorite books because, believe it or not, there are no words in it. What kind of a book doesn't have words? We'll find out. Chalk by Bill Thompson. It is one of Mrs. Craft's favorite books. The pages are coming out. Chalk. And what is this a picture of? It's a dinosaur that you ride on when you're at the park. And he's holding a bag in his mouth. I wonder what's in that bag. Hmm. Here's some kids. They're walking in the rain. And they come upon the dinosaur in the park holding the bag in his mouth. Hmm. What do you think they'll do? They're wearing their raincoats. This one has her boots on. Let's see. Oh, they got the bag out of the dinosaur's mouth. They're looking inside of it. What is it? It's a bag of chalk. That's right. Hmm. What will they do with the chalk? Well, this little girl finds the this color chalk. What color is that chalk? Can you see it up here? Hmm. I think I see it up here. It's the yellow chalk. What will she draw with the yellow chalk? Oh my goodness. Look what she's drawing. A sunshine. You can draw sunshine too. All you need is a piece of paper, a piece of yellow chalk, you can make a circle, and lines coming out from around it. Easy peasy. This little girl drew a sunshine with yellow chalk. And suddenly, zap! Right here, zap. Look at that. That's amazing. A flash of light. It's so bright they cover their eyes. They're excited to see it. And guess what? Now the sun is shining. Look how happy she is. She's like, wow, this is incredible. This little girl finds another color of chalk. What color is her chalk? Can you pick it out up top? Hmm. It looks to me like she has the orange chalk. This is the orange chalk. And what is she drawing? It looks like butterflies. To draw a butterfly, you make a line and some loops on it. There's a butterfly. Oh my goodness. Look what's happening over here on the edge. What's happening to her pictures of butterflies? Let's see. Oh my goodness, her butterflies turned out to be real. They're coming right off the drawing she made and they're flying through the sky. That looks like a lot of fun. I would like it if my butterfly drawings came to life too. What will happen next? Hmm. Let's see. Here's a little boy and he's getting a piece of chalk out of the bag, what color is it? Can you tell me? That's right. It's a green piece of chalk. Hey, do we have a green piece of chalk? There it is, right there. What's this little boy drawing with his green chalk? Hmm, let's see. It looks like he's drawing the dinosaur. Drawing a dinosaur is very easy. An eye, a nose, a mouth. There it is. Put his eye on there. And of course, he's probably going to need an arm and a leg and a tail. Whoa, I like big long tails. I drew a dinosaur and so did the little boy. Uh-oh, what will happen to the dinosaur that he drew? Let's find out. Uh-oh. Oh no! Oh no! They're panicked! Oh no! What is happening? What do you see here? Is that a shadow? Oh my gosh! What's that inside of its mouth? Sharp teeth? 
Are these kids excited or are they scared? Look, she's hiding her eyes. She could be scared. She might be afraid. I think he might be excited. What do you think? The dinosaur has come to life. It's coming right off the drawing. Look at that. What will they do? Will they run? Let's see. Yikes! They're running up to the top of the slide. There they go. Right onto the playground and through the hole at the top. Oh no! He came down the hole, but what's here waiting for him? It's the giant dinosaur that he drew with the green chalk. It's waiting for him at the bottom of the slide. She's ready to go down, but she can't go down until there's nobody at the bottom. And this little girl looks like she's hiding. She can't, she's hiding under the bridge so the dinosaur won't see her. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Now they're both down in the slide. And what do they see? the dinosaur and his sharp, sharp teeth. I would be afraid if the dinosaur was at the bottom of the slide with me. But, he has a piece of chalk. What color is his chalk? It's the blue chalk. And guess what he's drawing? Look, he's drawing a cloud. A bunch of swirly cloud. And raindrops. Raindrops, raindrops, more raindrops. What will happen to the chalk dinosaur when the raindrops fall? Let's find out. Oh no, the rain is falling. It's hitting the dinosaur. And what's happening to him? He is melting away back into the green chalk that he was made of. Look at that. Oh, look up here. The rain is hitting and it's just dripping the chalk right back onto the ground. This little girl is watching. She says, oh my gosh, look at that dinosaur. He's melting. Ha! Ah, there's the puddle of green chalk on the ground. And here's the kids. Woo! She says, that was a close one. We are lucky we got away. They're taking the chalk. They put it back in the bag. And they're hanging it up on the dinosaur's mouth. There they go. Looking back. Goodbye, dinosaur. Goodbye, magic chalk. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed this story. It's one of Mrs. Craft's favorite. I miss you guys. I hope to see you next year. Oh, but we're having a parade. I'll see you at the parade. Bye.